Hi everyone, it's Joel here again, and today's lesson is on animating a single character in Photoshop using the Puppet Warp feature. Now before I go on, I just want to give credit to Greg Hodgson from the UK. He's on the Adobe Education Exchange, and this lesson is 95% exactly the same one that he published on the Adobe Education Exchange. I've tweaked it a little bit, so I'm making my own video, but I just wanted to give credit to Greg. This is his image and his lesson, and I wanted to make sure he had the proper credit. Now, looking at this Photoshop file, what you're seeing here is a cat that's on a transparent background. That's what I put him on. And I've got these different layers here. They're all exactly the same. Uh, one's called Original, and then I've got Pose 1, Pose 2, and Pose 3. Now, Original we're not touching, but these other three we're going to make different. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select Pose 1 and make sure that the eyes are off the other layers. So I'm just looking at Pose 1. The other ones are not visible. Okay, so once I've done that, I just go to the Edit menu and I choose Puppet Warp. Now, it doesn't look like anything's happened. Um, it's in Puppet Warp right now. When you do it on your Photoshop, you might have something that looks like this with, with what's called the mesh on top of it. Now, we don't need the mesh, so if you do see that, just go up here to the top where the tick button is, Show Mesh, and just untick that. We don't need that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create some pivot points. The first thing I'm actually going to do is just put a couple points here and here and here and here on the legs, on the feet, sorry, because I don't want the feet to actually move. And I'm going to put a point here and here and here and here. I'm going to put the points on the, leg, on the tail there. All right, so once these pins have been put on, as it were, it's sort of like pin the tail on the donkey. Um, we can move on these pins, and then I get my arrow that's just turned into, and I can now manipulate that. So it's very possible to go way too far with this, as I say to my students. Just do it gently. Okay. Don't go crazy. Don't do anything like that going to look terrible. I know it's funny, but it doesn't look good. So what, I just want this tail to go down, and I'm trying to do it in some sort of realistic way. So I'm just doing gentle, small movements, because basically this layer is going to be the cat pretty much the same, but just with his tail down. And you can see his head's moving as I'm doing it, because I haven't pinned that, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just trying to come up with something. There we go. That'll do. Uh, there's a tick button up here to accept the changes, so I'll press the tick button. And so there is my cat with the tail down. So let's look at the difference. This is my original, and this is the one with the cat down, with the tail down. In fact, let's put two of them together so you can see the difference. The head's moved a bit, that's okay. Um, but the tail's moved quite dramatically. I'm not particularly happy with this bit there, but what are you going to do? All right, so that's fine. So I'm actually going to rename that layer. I'm going to double click pose one, and I'm just going to call that tail down, just so I know what it is. Now let's go to layer two, turn on the eye, and turn off the other eye. Now we're ready to do this one. We'll go to the edit menu and puppet warp. Again, I'm going to pin the feet here. And this time I'm going to have some fun and do the ears and maybe a little bit on the mouth as well. Now let's see what I can do. I'm going to put the ears down like that. I'll put this one down like that. And maybe give him a bit of a grimace or something like that. I don't know. I'm just having some fun with this and seeing what I can come up with. Again, you don't want to go too far. I've done something weird here with a whisker. So I'll just go to Edit Undo to fix that. Um, ear again. Ear. Maybe I'll do another point here and move this down. And of course, I could do these whiskers as well. Click on that, click on that, click on that, and then move the whiskers somewhere else just for fun. Like that. Okay. That looks pretty good. Maybe move this one down just a little bit, give them a bit of a grin. All right, that'll do. I'll press the tick button to accept those changes. And now let's look at the difference between this one and the original. So there we go. So this one I'm going to double click as well, and I'm going to call this Cheeky. Cheeky Cat, I don't know. And now click on Pose 3, turn that on, and turn off the eye on the Cheeky. So we're back to the original one here. We're going to go to Edit Puppet Warp. 
And now I'm just going to go crazy with all my pins. I'm going to put the pin there, put some pins up on his uh, tail. I'm going to try and, for this last one, I want to try and manipulate as much as I can. And I'm not sure how yet, but what I want to try to get him to do is to sit down. So we're going to see if that's possible. Okay, so I've got lots of pins in place. Let's see what I can do. All right, well, first of all, I'm going to get this tail down. So let's see if I can get this tail down. I'm going to do this quite quickly. Oh, that looks terrible. Hopefully I can fix that up. Yes, I can. Okay, I'll put that down. I'll put that down. I'll get this all the way down. There we go. Okay, now let's see if I can make him sit down. Get his bottom down like that. Move his body here. Move that over here, or it might have, need a pivot point on his neck. Make that look realistic. And of course, I can move his feet if I want to. Maybe flatten it a little bit. I'm just having some fun here. Again, I want him to be sitting down or, or something along those lines. His head looks way too big for his body now, so I'm just going to bring that right down, see if I can make his head come down with the rest of him. It'll take some work, though. Maybe put something there and see what that does. Oh, I don't like that. I'll leave that alone. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. It's certainly very different to what the original one is. There we go. I might actually just move this tail away because I can see that edge. And that edge doesn't look great as well. There we go. All right. I'm sort of happy with that. That's not bad. Let me move that bit up a bit so I can move the foot up a bit. Okay, good. So I'll press the tick button to accept that change, and there we go. I'll call that one sitting. So let's have a look at my cats. We've got sitting, we got cheeky, we got tail down, and we've got the original. So now I've got my four, I'm going to get the timeline up. So I'm going to go to window, timeline, and I've actually already got it set up. I already created a uh, frame animation. So if you have a button there that says uh, create frame animation, then make sure that's ticked. Um, I'm going to set that to 1.0.2, make sure it's on a loop forever. And so there's my first one with the original. And then I'm going to click off that and go to the tail down and I'll add it. Hang on, sorry. Let me start that again. There's the original. I need to copy that layer by pressing new layer. And now I'm going to make it go with the tail down. Then I'll copy that layer and I'll change it to cheeky. So number three is cheeky and then I'm going to copy that layer. And now it's to sitting, and I'll copy that layer, and I'll go back from sitting to cheeky, and I'll copy that layer, and I'll go from cheeky to tail down, and I'll copy that layer, and I'll go from tail down to original. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's play it and see what it looks like. It looks a bit weird. Okay, and so there you go. That is how you create a animated character using Puppet Warp in Photoshop. And thanks to Greg for his wonderful tutorial. Hope you liked it and good luck with it. Thank you very much.